Hey, Josh, what's happening? Not much. What are you doing? Uh, we're going to talk about AI writing tools. Um, and I want to point out that we're sort of like, we're in early 2023, right? What, what are we in the third beginning of March? Yeah. And, but it's like, dude, it's like we're living in the future. We're like September of 23. That's what we're doing right now is with these AI writing tools. And yeah. so we've talked about content development and all that, but let's get down to an actual tool that's tools that are built to help you write. So you can start with uh, what I think is your favorite, Jasper. You have all the ones I've played with so far. With it, Jasper is probably my favorite as far as, you know, sometimes the aesthetic and the way these things work, you know, matter. And uh, it's just super clean, real easy to use. Um, it has, you know, I, I want to say anybody could use it. it it's really simple. Um, I just think it's, it, it just, again, it just feels right. Um, most of them do the chat GPT thing. They, you know, they have that, but this one is built for content development. It's built, it has the templates. It has, it's kind of intuitive and smart where it's set up to be used for business. So people who are looking to write uh, papers, blog posts, emails, you know, it's ready to go. And some long form content too. You know, this has one of the more robust systems, but you pay by the word. So I want people to know, you know, it's like, you know, it'd be like $59 a month, but you get 50,000 word. Wait a second, 50,000 words. If I'm developing a lot of content, I can go through 50,000 words pretty fast. So it also has a long form uh, content feature that I really like called boss mode. And, you know, you and I were complaining about how in chat GPT, it's tough to, you know, work on large projects. Like mm -hmm. you have to, you know, you can only work in chunks. This one actually, you know, dealt with that. So, you know, of all the content writers out there so far, this is the only one I saw that dealt with that yet. You know, I haven't, oh, you know, I haven't played with it as much as I want to. But again, this is the one, this is the one okay, that- and One of the reasons you probably haven't played with it as much as you'd want to, you start playing with it more, okay? Yeah. yeah it'll make you happier. Um, is because of that word count. And yes. you know, I was that, telling you that I find that is a, uh, it stifles me creativity, creatively because I'm like, oh, I want to keep going on this, but I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to, I don't want to ex expend my entire word count on this project. And so it limits me. So I keep backing off. Yeah. It's so funny that you say that because I ran into that even with open AI when that first gave us access and I've got a paid account and it had like, by the word is like 0 0.007 cents or something for this format. And Da Vinci is more, you know, oh, point, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was point zero one nine. And I'm like, wow, I've, I've played with this a lot this month. How much is the bill going to be? And then I got a bill for like, you know, three dollars. And I was like, oh, OK, apparently I was I wasn't as prolific as I thought I was. But but again, it was always in my head. So to your point, yeah, I would always be afraid, especially in a business setting with the team. I would be worried. Oh, my gosh. You know, how much content has my team, you know, developed with this? Probably not enough, but <clears throat> I just want to put it out there. What do you have for us? Which one are you going to talk? Are you talking about writer, aren't you? I'm going to talk about writer. A couple things. One is, do you think someday we're going to look back at all the apps and pieces of software that came out in like the 2020s and they just took a word and changed the spelling of it like writer, R-Y-T-E-R. -R yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like we have so many, you know, uh, crumble cookies, right? Crumble. Yeah. Uh, you know, so we have so many of those. Those. Now. It's funny you say that. Back. Can I just throw this in? Crumble cookies yeah, and then the one of the best plugins for Trello is called Crumble and they're exactly the same and it can I'll get a thing saying you you know you spent nine you nineteen dollar invoice for Crumble I'm uh -huh. like, I didn't get any cookies and it'll be like oh it's for my Trello connection so yeah however if you got a nineteen dollar bill from Crumble the cookies that would be a steal because that place ain't yeah. cheap oh yes no that one's usually twenty six dollars for four delivered I know so not that I know that but my uh, belly does. And, and what day and time do the new flavors come out? Yeah, Monday morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. They're closed uh, dude, on Sundays, gotta, which I gotta, think is really dumb for a cookie place. I don't get it. All right, we got to do that on our Tuesday walk meeting. 
Yes. We're starting right there. It's right next to it. We should I just, know. Just say, you know what? The hell with it. We're going to get a cookie and a cup. And then we'll have a sugar walk. crash in like an hour. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to Ryder, R-Y-T-E-R, the cool one. So, this is how I summed it up, right? Because they all have their different strengths, right? Yeah. Uh, have you ever wished you had your own Chandler from Friends to come up yes. with snappy one-liners? Well, that's kind of Ryder's angle. It's for uh, emails, landing pages, and social media posts. So, they're... Um, take is uh, something that's less formal, more friendly, more creative. And so that's really useful for so much of what um, what I do. The other thing I like about it is it starts off so much, uh, it's so much more expensive. Hey, did you mention the prices at all for uh, Jasper? Yeah, just, just the $59. I mean, they have a couple other plans, but like, you know, $29, $59, you know, but I, I wasn't it. sure if you you you'd said him. So, uh, right, you know, Jasper is known to be more expensive, uh, and then uh, Ryder is is less expensive. But then again, um, it's about nineteen dollars a month if it's um, billed annually. But then again, if you're doing social posts, your word count is so low compared to Jasper's strength of doing longer form stuff, where your word count's going to be you know higher. So maybe there's uh, a balance in there, and it works itself exactly. Out. Yeah. All right, so uh, Josh, the third one we're going to talk about today. Yeah, Copy uh, AI. Copy AI is cool with its free plan. You know, you get like 10 pieces of copy with that. You know, it doesn't get you too far, but if you want to mess with it and see, and a lot of developers, this is their favorite one. Uh, you know, their pro models, 35 bucks a month with gets you unlimited copy credits. So that's probably why it's number one. Uh, but they mm -hmm. keep adding features to it too. And they actually even have more templates than Jasper. I think Jasper is sexier, you know, probably the name. It's just, you know, Jasper, you know, he, I yeah. always wanted to be called Jasper. No, I'm totally kidding. But yeah. no, it's, it has a lot of the features. It's like a step, you know, I, I think it's, I, I think it's uh, the Ford, you know, the, the Ford <laughs> or the Chevy. It's, uh, that's how I would compare it. But it's, I find it more like open AI if, if that's what you're used to using and working with. Um, but again, the developers right now, social media managers, uh, they're all talking about this as being the be all end all. So I think if you're an author and you're working on big content, Jasper is what you want to do. If you're working on a lot of content, I like Jasper. But if you're doing social media posts, emails, drip campaigns, this is your so this is your this is one of those things where you and I barely ever say this and we should is welcome somebody to give us some feedback. I really would like to know what people are using, what they like and what they don't like. Yeah. And they can feel free to comment on the names because I'm with you. I like Jasper. It sounds ooh, Jasper like kind of like a sophisticated, clever, clever um, person's gonna give me some contact. Copy AI, I think of how, right? Yeah. Well, you Open know, the to pod that, bay doors. And let me talk, let me say that, you know, the ones we don't talk about this a lot. There's been great softwares out there that didn't make it because of branding. It matters. You know what I mean? Matter. Just, it, it matters. And also the look and feel. Like we talk about, you talk about Google, like we Google Tables was really cool for developing. But I'm sorry, Trello was so, so much sexier looking. And yeah. therefore, I would use it more, even though it was a fight to work with it compared yeah. to Google mm -hmm. was like open source. You could do stuff, you could manipulate it, but it didn't look pretty as far as I was concerned. So anyway, uh, you're, yeah. you're right there. You and I talked, we did the head to head with chat GPT and Bing and my comments on Bing were like, it's cumbersome and it, the goofiness of where you have to go to do everything. So even if it's phenomenal right there, I'm like, am I going to use it? Yeah, if you're you know, not thinking me of those things when you're developing these products, and again, all three of these are going to imp all three of these are going to improve your life. I don't care which one you go with and which one you adopt. And it's how people were with eClincher and HubSpot and like social, you know, Zo Zoho Social. All three of them do the exact same functions. Which ones are sexier looking and do it the mm -hmm. way you like it done? If that makes sense, they all execute all right. the same strategy. That's what these do. They all execute the same function, but which one is going to make your life easier? And we're just built differently. You know, it's just like some people are visual, some people are audio, you know, like you really like that. 
Bing will talk to you. I still just mm-hmm. never, I, I'm just, I want to see, you know, it's like, I, I need to feel it. You know, I'm still, yeah, dude, I, I have this fantasy of, um, cause I like to go on long road trips. Right. Yeah. And so I'll, I'll listen to podcasts and stuff. So the podcast, you have an expert at something talking to me about something, but I can't say, Oh, hold on, Mr. Expert. What about this? But if I have a, a slick voice, uh, AI, then I can, you know, I can do that. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm say, with you. Tell, to tell me, me that's super this. fun. My problem is my retention then of it's going to be like, Ooh, uh, email that to me right now. Well, it'll do that. So what am I talking about? But so, with the integrations, yeah. it, it yeah, will do that. Exactly. Yeah. And so we're, we're getting there anyway. So, um, dude, we just, I mean, we didn't even scratch the surface, right? Yeah. Because if you're not using one of these tools for content development right now, I don't know what is wrong with you. That's yeah, what, what is that's... wrong with you. You can use chat GPT to analyze what is wrong with the person not using it. We should, yeah, that's say, true. Hey, there's somebody who refuses to use it. What's wrong with analyze what's wrong with them. There will be people that do that. There will be people, I always talk about there will be digital and analog people, and I will ride both sides of it because I like some analog stuff and I like some digital stuff. That's- yeah, you do. You do. I, I've, I've, I've kind of went the, you know, I sold out. I'm all, I'm all yeah, digital. No, I just, I had this conversation with somebody about chords. Like there's a guy that'll plug his, there's a, you know, people still plug their guitar into an amp. There's been wireless technology for that forever, but there are people that it sounds better if it's plugged but, in. I know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, I mean, you, you're, this is your thing, you know, better than I, but there are people like literally argue that you take an old record, you put a, the needle on it and they're like, oh no, it sounds, it sounds better that way. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And that's what, yeah. yeah. But these tools, these tools will, hey, business owners, these tools will save you a lot of money and time. And yeah, they will. <laughs> that's the whole. So I, I wanted to say, all right, we talked about these three. Check them out. Uh, we'll have the links. But there are so many more. And by the time I hit stop recording, there's probably going to be five more. Right? Yeah. So uh, just, you know, keep at it. And as always, uh, we offer a free consultation. So just reach out to us and we'll, we'll talk your ear off about software and anything else you're willing to listen to us about. The last thing these people want to do now. Uh, here's to sunshine on everybody's shoulder. And the Muppets. And the Muppets. All right. See ya. Bye. All right.